Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today what I'd like to do is to talk about a German watch company, Glashütte Original, and look at the the entry level watches that they have. Now it, it's the pricing on these watches is different than some of the other ones we've looked at. Uh, some of the other ones we've looked at, the, the bottom level is pretty high. And with Glashütte Original, it's, it's, it's a little lower. It's not terribly low, but it's a bit lower. And there's, there are different collections in it. But I, I picked three collections. And I, I took two watches from each collection. Plus another one I found that they're not producing anymore, and we'll talk about it too. Now, uh, oh, my watches, I have my um, FP Journe Chronomet Surain on today. All right, um, if, before I get started, I, I just want to give you an impression, and I'm, I'm not saying this is accurate. Some of you who may know both uh, Glasshut Originals, and Zsa Le Coutre may disagree, but for some reason, Glashütte Original reminded me of Zsa Le Coutre, the Swiss uh, watchmaker. I, again, there's some similarities. Uh, there are also a lot of differences, but there was something about them that sort of had that thing. They're uh, high horology, but they have a wide range of prices and and some other things like that. Okay, you be the judge. All right, first of all, I'm going to start off with one of my favorite watches. I liked it. Uh, I like it because of the name, too. It's called the Senator Hand Date. And by a hand date, what they're talking about is the subdial at uh, 3 o'clock has a little hand, and it points to the different dates. So that's the hand date. The uh, subdial at Nine o'clock is the uh, second hand. Now, now this one, uh, the list price of this is again in the context of high horology is a is relatively low. It's sixty four hundred dollars. However, uh, I found one for four thousand one fifty five. Now, this is, by the way, too, all of the ones that we're going to be looking at today are brand new. They're all from the 20th, 21st century. They're not, they're no vintage, even though one of the collections is called vintage. None of, they're all relatively new. Um, most of them are still being produced today, too. Uh, one of the ways you can get great deals with a lot of watches is simply get last year's model. And you can do that to some extent with these, too. All right, so the Senator Hand Date is an automatic um, caliber most of them are automatic, and there's a good difference between what they sell for and what the discounts you can find, and it's part of what they call the Senator Collection. The next one is also from the Senator Collection, and it's called the Senator Panorama Date, and it lists a significantly more 10,700, and it's a, it's a nicer watch, and a little fancier, and it's got that great big uh, date about mm, 4:30. And um, anyway, so this is another sort of entry level. This is getting up there, uh, but remember now, this is this is not a. <laughs> we're still de dealing with all of the movements are manufactured by Glasshut Original, and so sort of keep that in mind. These these are. These are, are relatively high prices in terms of the world of everything else except for watch collection, uh, especially uh, high horology watch collection. Uh, and it's, uh, you can find discounts for around uh, uh, 8280 That was the one that I found. By the way, the locations, most of these I found at Joma Shop, uh, but some of the other ones, uh, another was at... Um, uh, time of Switzerland, but it's another place I found it, and I forgot, and the other ones you can look around for. One of the things about uh, Glashütte Original is that 
they're spread out all over the world. Sometimes certain watch brands are concentrated more in one country or another. And to some extent, this is true. They have a lot more of them in Germany, but they're but they're really all over the place. So this uh, this is a watch that I think you can probably get your hands on if you're interested in this. Okay, uh, let's moving right along here. Now the next one is called the 60s and this is part of what they call their vintage collection and this is another of their more reasonably priced and this is, is the entry level right as we're talking about today only and uh, it's again it's another automatic uh, the 90-02 the list price on it is $7,500 again not crazy high uh, but you know, it's certainly no bargain basement watch. And the discount uh, that I found was uh, fifty nine ninety five, which is about 6000 bucks. So you have a $1,500 discount there, which isn't a lot of a drop, but it's, it's some. And uh, by the way, too, most of these come in different colors, uh, usually blue, black, and white. Uh, this particular one, this newer model, comes in this great-looking green. Uh, it sort of looked like it's um, it's not camouflage, but sort of a sort of like a oh, I don't know how you describe it, but it's a green with sort of s s different, really modern art-looking splotches of color on it, of a version of green. Anyway. Um, cool looking watch. All right, uh, so let's see uh, first of the vintage collection, uh, and it's called the 60s. Uh, the second one, which I thought was interesting, is a pretty good deal, is called the 70s Panorama Date. And this one comes with a rubber strap. <laughs> rubber band sound drawing, so it comes with a rubber strap. Uh, this one is, the again, the 70s. They give it a 70s look to it. Uh, and it's part of their vintage collection. Now it lists for 10,100, but boy, there's a huge drop in this one. You can really find some good buys on this, almost half price. Again, it's about $6,000. I think this is the price that I found at uh, Joma shop on this, part of the vintage collection. Now, what this does is that all of the ones we have, we have there's, it gives you some variety. Most of them, size-wise, are right around 39, 40 millimeter. Uh, so they're not really big, they're not really small, but uh, they're sort of in between. And uh, here's another one. Now, I, uh, they, they come in different colors as well. This is the particular one that I thought, well, you know, I had a blue 60s, I'll have a blue 70s. All right, let's go on. Um, now, <laughs> I got another blue one here. The the next is from the what's called the Pano Collection. And this is their getting a little fancier here, too. And this is one of my favorite watches of all of the Glasshuta original. And it's called the Pano Reserve, part of the Pano Collection. And the reason I like it, it's got manual winding. This has got manual winding. Most of my watches have manual winding, which I prefer. And um, it has a power reserve indicator. That's why it's called the uh, Pano Reserve. And the date, uh, one of the, what they call the Panorama uh, date. And then they have a, actually there's two subdials, one big one uh, for the uh, minutes and hours. And then a, there's sort of another big subdial within it uh, for, for the seconds. Uh, this is a watch I like a lot. Uh, it probably, like I said, this is my favorite of, of all of the uh, Glass Huta original uh, collection. Uh, the price are, the price is a little steep on these guys, though. Uh, $82.80 even at a discount. It's a lot. Now, by the way, too, of course, all of these watches you can find, if you go to some place like Chrono 24, you can find uh, pre-owned ones there. So these, like I said, all of these are new. All of them from 20th century. You don't want to go back too far on these. You get into, um, there's another m with more history to another video I did. Uh, and the, uh, you can take a look at it for some of the history, for the entry level um, watches from uh, Glasshuda Original. Okay, uh, let's go on. 
Uh, this one, the uh, Panamatic Lunar, it, it's like the reserve, except it's, it has a, a lunar, uh, a moon phase indicator at uh, two o'clock, and uh, where the instead of a, instead of the reserve indicator. Okay, uh, this is a uh, automatic caliber ninety o two. And it pretty much the same kind of uh, price and also the, about the same kind of discount. Uh, to me, this is another very nice watch. It's very popular. Uh, if you like a moon phase, <clears throat> I, I don't have anything against them. I just don't have anything for them. I'd much rather have a power reserve indicator and, of course, a, a wind-up watch rather than a, a automatic. But this one is a really like this, uh, uh, it's called Panomatic Lunar, okay, the Pano Reserve doesn't have a Matic in it, so it's because it's not an automatic. All right, this last one is, is out of production, they don't make them anymore, it's called the Navigator. Now, the list price originally was $7,100, and, um, but the discount that I found was, 5,112. I think that was from Time of Switzerland also, but I'm not sure. It could have been, uh, could have been Joma Shop as well. Now, at 8 o'clock, there's a pusher at 8 o'clock, and that's for uh, the, it has a type of chronograph, and it uses the second hand uh, as a running second hand, but also can be reset for a chronograph. Uh, the it has a that uh, big second window. Uh, not crazy about the <laughs> the way the big second window runs into the four, uh, but eh, you know it's not bad. You can it, it's something you can easily see, and uh, it's the navigator. Don't know where they got the term at first. I thought, oh boy, they have a uh, dual time here, but uh, they have them, but not in this, uh, but not this particular one. This came from a pilot's watch uh, design, a Flugler, I forgot what the German term for it was. But this is another cool watch, and, and it's, uh, it, it's, it run, the uh, movement is uh, caliber 100-09. Uh, it is out of production, uh, but there's some around that you can find, and uh, the ones that uh, 5112 is the price of a, unused one. I mean, it's, it's a condition zero uh, watch. Okay, well, th this has been a, a relatively short uh, video, but it, it's, it's one that I think it's, it's important to, to look at some of the lower brands for the entry level. Um, you know, I've been looking at, uh, I forgot what, um, some of the higher uh, FP Journe and some of these the very high, very expensive uh, watches and looking at the entry level, like the entry level even on used with uh, FP Journe is $20,000. So, so you're talking here um, around 5000 at a, finding at a discount for uh, Glesshood Original. And I think some of the ones that we looked at earlier, the... Um, uh, from the Senator collection. You can find some good buys there. Okay, well, naturally, I'd, I'd be very interested in what your comments are, what you think of them. And like I said, they're a German watch company. They're not Swiss. Uh, they're made in Glashütte, which is sort of the German Geneva, if you will. And i um, like to hear your comments. As always, this is an invitation to subscribe if you'd like. And until Sunday, uh, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of watch collection.